Printf is a good way to print information in a certain format. But before we get to that, what I want to talk about is using multiple statements with Printf. You can see the formatting string here, enclosed by quotes, has three placeholders, percent %d, percent %d, and percent %d. And what each of these are waiting for is an integer to put inside of them. We can see that this first percent %d here is going to look for an argument over here, and it finds its first argument, which is 10. When it prints, it's going to print 10. Then it's going to go to the second placeholder, which is also a percent %d, and it's going to find the number 20. So it would print the number 20 right next to 10. And then finally, for this particular string, it's going to look for this third percent %d placeholder, and it's going to find an integer, which is 30 right here, and it will print it out on the screen. So we have 10, 20, 30. And finally, this percent %n is just saying, I want to go to the next line. So if I had another print statement down here, it would not print on this same line. Another thing that I'd like to talk about is spacing inside of the formatting string. You can see here that I put two spaces in between the numbers. So instead of printing them all out right next to each other, you can use the formatting string to indicate spaces. And I've done exactly that. You can see that there's a space between the 10 and the 20 and the 20 and the 30. One important note that I'd like to say is that you need to make sure that your conversion type over here is exactly the same as the data that you're printing over here. If you had 20 here, and let's say that you had an F here, it would not print. In Java, if you declared a variable double X equals 20 and printed out X, it wouldn't have a problem. It would just say 20.0 and add the decimal place. Printf is not as kind. If you have an F here and you have 20, which is not a float value or a double value, it will throw an illegal format conversion exception. So be careful when using data types to make sure that your placeholder is the same as your argument. On this slide, what I've done is I've added different data types as opposed to just having one data type to use in a string. I have several different data types. First of all, I have a string literal here, which is not going to have an argument because it's just literally going to print out, did you know? So we can see down here, first it prints out, did you know? Then I have a space and percent %d. Percent %d is going to look for an argument, num, which is 87, so it'd print out 87. Next, we would go to percent %c, which is going to look for a character value, and our character value is percent. So it would say, did you know space 87, and then the percent symbol. And then our last placeholder is percent %s, and what that's going to look for is a string. And it finds string s, string s says space of all statistics are made up. So when we finish, it would give us the string, did you know 87% of all statistics are made up? There's one thing that I would like to point out here, that you can use percent %c to display the percent sign, but the better way or the more proper way is to use a double percent sign. And it's going to print out exactly the same thing, but it's going to use double percent sign instead of looking for the character percent. In this next slide, what I want to caution against are spaces. Notice I have indicated spaces by underscores. So I have a space right here, a space right here, and a space right here. Hopefully you can see what problem this is going to cause. It's going to print the same line that we had in the last slide, but it's going to say, did you know space 87% space space of all statistics are made up? And you can see the problem is, is that I've put a space after the double percent and I have a space inside of my string. So when it prints out, I end up with this double space that I do not want. I only want one space after the percent. There are two ways around this. One, I could delete the space right here or I could delete the space right here. I chose to delete the space right here and you can see the new output is only going to have one space in it. Again, this slide is just to caution you, when using the formatting string, make sure that you realize where your spaces are and if you need a space in certain places when you print.
Finally, I've stripped away all of the colors and I've given a formatting string to print out using this data, name, age, and GPA. And those are being passed down here in the argument list. I want you to think for a second and try to figure out what the output would look like. If you want to pause the video just for a sec and figure out what the output is going to be, go ahead and do so. The output is not going to be probably what you want. And the problem is, is that before the age and before the GPA, there's going to be an unwanted space. You can see right here after the end, it almost feels natural to put a space right here and put a space right here. But what that ends up doing is it adds to readability, but it unfortunately adds a space that is undesired in our output. What we want our output to look like is this without the space right there. And so the way that we would solve our issue is to not include the space in our formatting string. So from this video, you have seen how to use multiple placeholders and multiple argument lists to fill in those placeholders. An important note is to make sure that this data type name is the same as what this placeholder is looking for. Also, be aware of spaces inside of your formatting string as they might get you in trouble or not give you the output that you desire.